Hi guys, how are you doing today? Happy New Year. Um, hi from Vancouver. So I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There's some snow outside, so it's chilly, but I've got my workout gear on and I'm ready to have this first live stream with you. So if you have never seen a live stream before, basically um, it's like a reality TV show, except it's not that exciting. But I'm here, I'm live, we can communicate. Um, so you can post your comments on the Messenger, on YouTube. On Facebook, I'm live too, but um, I'm not gonna be checking in on the comments as much as I will be on YouTube. So if you do have questions, be sure to hover over to the Lux Health YouTube channel so I can definitely answer your questions. Um, so I'm super excited today because obviously this is the first live stream so we can really interact and we can talk about the 30 day waist training challenge. So. A lot of you are here for that reason. You know, New Year's was great. I had a great time, had a fun party last night here um, at my boyfriend's place. And it was fun, but that involves drinking, a lot of food. And you know, over the holidays, everyone kind of gains a little bit of weight. And that's fine, like you gotta live a little, right? Um, so for me personally, I want to make sure that I start January on the right foot. Um, I have you know, I don't consider them New Year's resolutions. I just have a lot of goals. I'm a very goal-driven person, and so I wanna share that with you guys. And so that's why I started the 30-Day Waist Training Challenge. And this is for all of you who have already bought the Lux Curves Waist Trainer, and you kinda need a little bit of more motivation to, to wear it every day, because you know what, you're gonna get the results. All it takes is for you to be driven, to be motivated, and to really just put the effort in. The waist trainer doesn't work unless you do too. So this is gonna be a community thing, and I'm so excited to have everyone here. So uh, I kinda wanna know where you guys are from, who's joining me today. I'm gonna look at the comments over here. I have my computer here, so if you see me glancing down, it's cause I'm taking a peek. Uh, where are you guys from? Tell me, you know, how did you guys find? I saw that Brianna was on, on the uh, YouTube stream. She's awesome. So Brianna and I have been communicating through email. She's been sharing her progress with the waist trainer. There's some girls I can see that are from the Lux Curves Waist Training Dolls Facebook group, which is awesome to hear. Um, so yeah, let me know where you guys are from. How was your New Year's? How was your Christmas? Comment in the comment box. Um, so let's, let me tell you kind of how the stream is going to go today. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but this is going to be number one of five streams this month. So every Sunday at 1 p.m. PST, almost every Sunday, uh, I will be doing a live stream. And that's because I'm going to be helping you through this 30-day challenge. And on the live stream, this is your opportune time to, you know, answer, ask questions, and I'm going to answer questions. I'm also going to share with you my progress. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you all my stats. We're going to get really personal here. Um, and I'm going to share you, with you, like, you know, did I have any struggles? Did you have any struggles? Uh, what were the main uh, topics of conversation this week during the Fitbit group, the Facebook group, all of that? So it's going to be really the, the time to just talk more. Um, and so they're going to be every Sunday. Uh, the last Sunday of the week, I'm going to be away in Jackson Hole. So I'm going to try and do the live stream there, but it's probably going to be like on my iPhone because, I mean, I'm traveling. <laughs> I'm going for a snowboarding trip, so that's going to be fun. So the live stream today is going to be um, Q&A. First, I'm going to tell you what the 30-day challenge is. I'm going to tell you how to join. I'm going to tell you why we do it. Then we're going to have some Q&A, and then we'll end the chat. Okay, so let me just see here. Who do we have? Awesome. Okay, so from California, Susan, Sandos, Laura, Laura Vatia, Germany. Oh, Dominican Republic. I went there last year. Or no, it was this year actually. No, last year. Yeah, last year. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Awesome. Italy, Finland, Amber Woods from T Kentucky. Erica Sanchez from New York, and she lives in Florida. I love Florida, like the weather. Another one from Germany, Destiny. Well, welcome, ladies. Chile, awesome. Washington State, hi, Susan and Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Awesome, so I'm so glad to have you guys join me today. Um, of course, not everyone's gonna be able to join at this time, um, but this video will be up available to watch in the YouTube channel for whenever you please, so don't worry if you miss something, um, but stay with me live if you wanna have the Q&A session. So uh, I'm gonna get right into it. So we're gonna start the waist training challenge uh, today. So it starts January 1st, 
30 days uh, to the end of the month, and we're basically going to do this by wearing our waist trainers every single day. And you know, I have a lot of women who purchase the Lux Curves waist trainers, and then they you know wear it for a week, and then they just stop wearing it, and they say, "Oh, I didn't get the results I wanted." You know, like long-lasting results. It takes time to have that. If you want true results, it's not like a magic pill. You know, this is not something that just happens overnight. This is a product that is going to help you accelerate your fat loss goals, your body shaping goals, but it's going to take some effort on your end too. And it's not something that you can just pick up and then drop and just say, you know what, it didn't work for me after a week. You know, like even most supplements, you know, if you buy some health supplements from the store, they say you have to finish at least the bottle, which is a 30 day supply before you can judge and you can say, okay, did it work for me? Did it not work for me? So you got to give it some time. You got to, you got to give it a little wee way, some time to work, make its effort. So um, we're going to do that for 30 days um, every single day. So if you're brand new to waist training, if you just got your waist trainer in the mail, if you got it maybe a Christmas present, um, there is a seasoning schedule that you should follow. So uh, what does that mean? That basically means that we don't want you to just jump into waist training right away because it's, it's different for your body. Um, I'm going to get into the dangers of waist training and the Q&A part. But basically, the waist trainer is going to wrap around your stomach and your rib area, and you're not used to having something compress you for a long period of time. So it's not that it's going to damage your bones or anything like that. It's just that you're not used to it. And so if you um, overextend your period of time that you're wearing the waist trainer for the, maybe the first week, you're going to feel like your ribs are hurting. So you're gonna might feel some bruising, um, might feel pain. I remember when I first started waist training, that happened to me. I went to the doctor. I was like, "What is going on? Did I move a rib? What happened?" Um, but he's just like, "No, it's just like just some slight bruising, and that's just because I wore it for too long, um, and my body just was trying to adjust." So you need to listen to your body and really take it slow. And I probably should probably talk slower too, because I talk really fast. <laughs> Um, so basically, you want to make sure that you follow the seasoning schedule, and how do you find that? Well, with every Lux Curves or Lux Health product, you're going to get the free ebook, and the ebook is um, the guide for fitness, and it's going to have kind of all my favorite workouts. It's a book I created for you guys. Um, you know, I'm not a fitness expert, but these are just my favorite things that I, I like to do at the gym that I find are the most effective for me. Um, I don't like to use everything. I feel like there's just so much in the gym. So these are the, my favorite um, machines that I use for targeted areas. And I target certain areas to get more of the shape that I desire. Like I like a very um, curvy shape. <laughs> so in that book, there is a little um, seasoning schedule. So it tells you, you know, day one, we're at for two hours, day two, day three, day four, and up to day seven. Once you get to day seven, you can start wearing it for up to eight hours a day. Um, so eight hours a day, some people wear it longer, but you know, it's not really recommended to wear it for longer than that. Um, people ask me if you can sleep in the waist trainer. You know, if you can't wear it at work for some reason, they want to, you know, have it at nighttime to have it for another period of the day. I really don't recommend sleeping with it. I feel like it is just not necessary if you know, God forbid anything happens to you at night, if you, you know, wake up with a panic attack and you just can't breathe, you got something, you know, that's strapped onto you with these hooks, it's going to take a while to get off, and I just don't want to see anything bad happening like that. Um, so just wear it as much as you can during the day. Um, don't wear it when you're sleeping. Um, we're going to get back into the Q&A when we talk about when to wear it during exercise, which exercises you can use it for and all that. So we'll get to that later. Um, so anyways, so uh, where was, what was I even talking about? <laughs> so 30 days with the waist trainer, you wear it for as much as you can every single day. So personally, I'm going to wear it eight hours a day. Um, I'm an advanced waist trainer now, so I've been waist trainee. So I've been waist training for quite a while, and my body's very used to it. So it's, 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 not, um, it's not going to impact me like it will impact somebody who's very brand new to waist training. Um, so follow the schedule. Um, and then what basically the goal with the waist training is that um, it depends on what your goals are. A lot of women who waist train, they waist train because they want to have fat loss. So the waist trainer is really going to heat up your core and it's going to make you sweat more during the day. The more you sweat, the more calories you burn, the more fat you're going to lose. Um, that's why it's really recommended to use it while you're working out because you're definitely going to feel that, um, that sweat just like dripping down your shirt. Like it really works. 
So um, fat loss, um, it's great to shape your body. So if you are wearing it consistently, which is a habit we're gonna build with this 30 day challenge, if you're wearing it consistently, it will mold your body. So, you know, it's kind of like an unknown thing. How does it work? It kind of just moves the, your like fat around. So, I mean, here we all have, you know, fat and this kind of just gets displaced. Um, so it can help shape your body. Um, it doesn't have the same power as a corset. A corset can actually change the, the curvature of your rib cage and all that. So we'll get into that later too. Um, and thirdly, it's, am it's amazing for your posture and your back pain. So if you have a waist trainer and you have a desk job and you're sitting down all day, um, you're gonna notice that you're gonna sit up straight. You're going to sit up because you don't have a choice. Um, so for me, you know, when I'm sitting down, I usually tend to s uh, slouch quite a bit and uh, it's a really bad habit of mine, but when I'm wearing the waist trainer, I have to have good posture because if I don't, then the waist trainer kind of digs into your stomach here and it's just not really comfortable. So you just sit better. And by sitting better and having better alignment in your back, better posture, you'll just notice that um, you'll have less back pain because a lot of back pain is just associated with having poor posture. So those are some main reasons why women waist train. So you're gonna have to decide on what your goals are and from there you can see if you can achieve them. Um, so we're gonna be doing the waist train every single day for whatever goal you want to achieve. We're also gonna be doing a Fitbit community challenge. So if you don't have a Fitbit, this is a Fitbit. You put it on your um, less dominant wrist um, and basically it's going to show you, or it depends on which Fitbit you have, but it's gonna tell you how many steps you have per day. And why is this so important? Like I have to emphasize walking or running or just taking in those steps. Uh, I'll tell you a little quick story for me personally. So two days ago, I just moved downtown to Vancouver. I used to live in um, a smaller town. And the reason I did this move mainly is because I noticed that whenever I would come downtown, I would have like 15,000 steps in a day or 10,000 steps in a day, um, maybe even 20,000. And when I just lived at home, I would be driving everywhere. I'd be, you know, driving to work, driving to the store, driving to grab a coffee, like just driving everywhere because it was just so hard to get to places without the car. So I wouldn't walk as much. So I was getting 3,000, 2,000 steps a day. Plus, I used to work as a server at a, um, at a restaurant. And when I worked there, my legs were actually really nice and toned. Then I quit that job and started working at a bank where I was sitting down all day long. I gained 20 pounds in one year and my legs became like pretty thick. And it, they're still like thick, but now more muscular because I built the muscle um, below that. But it's just that from not walking, it was just, it changed my entire appearance. It changed my health. It just made me not as happy, more kind of depressed in a sense. So I made this big move because I really want to be able to walk everywhere. I sold my car, so I don't even have a car anymore. I don't have the option to drive. I just have to walk and I love it. So that's why I really emphasize walking because it's really going to change your life. Um, and the good thing is it doesn't feel like exercise. When you're walking with a friend or you're walking to the store, you know, time goes by fast because you're thinking about things, you're on a mission, and then you'll get those steps in. And that's why it's good to have the Fitbit because you can actually calculate that. When you can calculate things, you can see it, um, and then you can really feel motivated and see, did I have a good day? Did I have a bad day? How did I feel that day? So it's great for that reason. So. The Fitbit, what we're doing is a Fitbit group. Um, so basically, I'm gonna have as many, people, as many people as I can join the group, and then in the group, we will be able to basically see you know, how many steps you're getting in. It's kind of like a challenge. You kind of wanna challenge people. You wanna get to the top. You wanna make sure that you're getting in at least 10,000 steps a day. So that's what's recommended to be healthy and fit. Um, so your goal is 10,000 steps a day. It will be challenging. Um, you know, a 30 minute run or a 30 minute jog on the treadmill will not achieve uh, 10,000 steps. So you need to find those steps, do those steps in some extra ways. Go for a walk around the park, take the dog out, like little things. Um, and you just really can't be sitting on the couch and watching TV. So this is your motivation to walk, to get out. Um, and hopefully having this community will help you feel a little bit more challenged and like you have a little bit more of a push push and you'll be able to um, find friends in this community and on the Facebook group. Hopefully you can meet because all these women, you guys are all so amazing. I'm so blessed to, to have gotten to know some of you really well. Um, and you're all just such amazing women and I want you all to connect because you're all doing this together. Weight loss or you know whatever it is your goal can be really 
it can be really um, scary and, and sometimes feel lonely when you're doing it by yourself. Um, so it's good to have a community of women that you can connect with and you can talk to, you can maybe share things with. Maybe even somebody lives locally close to you that you can actually you know, say, hey, let's be walking buddies. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you wanna join the Fitbit group, all you have to do is go to the Lux Curves Waist Training Dolls Facebook group. If you're not already a member, just request to be approved. You'll get approved, don't worry. Um, and then just comment your email. Then I will personally invite you to the group. It's a private group. Um, so I'll personally invite you to the Fitbit group on your computer and then you can join. Um, the thing with Fitbit, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but they have Fitbit challenges, which is awesome because on your phone, you can check it out. You can go on your phone and you can see that there's um, some people with, you know, um, you, it's basically you do a, a daily challenge to reach your goal and you can see who's on the leaderboard. You can actually have like an instant messaging chat, um, which is awesome but you can only have 10 people per challenge. So depending on how many people join our Fitbit group, I'm gonna divide those people into groups of 10. And then every group of 10 will have their own uh, group of people that you get to know really well, and those will be the people that you stick with and that you challenge and, and so forth. So that's how it's gonna work, 10,000 steps a day. I'm challenging you and I want you to make as much effort as possible because trust me, you will see a big difference in your body and you will feel just mentally so much more refreshed when you, when you get those steps in. It makes the brain fog, anything that you're having, like it's just gonna disappear. Um, okay, so let's move on. So 10,000 steps a day. Now this challenge also involves changing your diet. So we all have these New Year's resolutions for New Year's, right? Um, so most people want to start hitting the gym. The gym is probably loaded already today. I have yet to go to the gym today. That's why I've only got like 1,500 steps. Um, but uh, hitting the gym and changing diets. So I don't know if you guys know this, that it, it happens in the kitchen. Weight loss happens in the kitchen. You know, abs happen in the kitchen, and it's, it's true. So you want to make sure that you are making a shift in your diet. Um, most of your, your results are going to come from having a clean diet. And what does clean mean? I mean, you can search that online. There's just so much information for you. Basically, you don't want to avoid processed foods. You don't want to be eating any fast foods, nothing with the saturated fats. Um, and you just want to be making sure that you're staying away from refined sugars and carbs. Um, so for me personally, so you're going to decide on what your diet's going to be. But what I want to do is I want to make sure I have a clean diet for the whole week. And if I reach my 10,000 steps by the end of the week, or say by every Friday, 10,000 steps a day, then I'll reward with myself with like one cheat meal. But it's not gonna be like a, a loaded cheat meal with like sugar and chocolate and all that. It's just gonna be something nicer, maybe like some pasta or something like that. But um, that way I'm not gonna feel deprived and it's gonna be a sustainable diet change and it's not just gonna be crash diet 30 days, eat clean, that's it. So it's, it's more sustainable that way, um, especially if you're just like completely shifting your body from you know having all the sugar and soft drinks to now just eating clean. So that's a big shift for you. Um, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Feel free to follow that if you want. Um, and just make sure that you're having a ton of water. Um, for me, I'm going to also, personally, I'm just not gonna have any added sugar. So. I had so much chocolate over the holidays. I don't know about you, but I've got a huge sweet tooth, and that's something that I've been trying to work on for a while now, but um, it definitely shows. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting rid of all the chocolates left over in my house. That's getting thrown out today, um, and I'm just not gonna be having any added sugar. Of course, bananas, fruit, all of that has natural sugar. I'm not gonna count that, that that's comes naturally. I put bananas in my smoothies almost every day. Um, so for me, I'm just not gonna, just gonna say no to the added sugar. Um, so consider doing that as well. So we've got the waist trainer, we've got the steps, and we've got the diet. So those are the three things that you're gonna have to follow for the 30-day challenge, and you really wanna make sure you stick to it. When you're feeling down or you're feeling like you know, you're caving in or you just, you feel lazy, you can't go to the gym that day or you can't go for a walk or maybe you're just, you know, nighttime watching a movie and you want to have some, you know, chips. Con like, message people. We have, that's why we're going to have the community. When you feel that, when you feel the need to, to cave in, message us so we can support. We can support one another, one another. We can say, hey, you know, like, no, you can do this. You know, get, you want to make sure that you're focusing on the long-term goal. So 
remember, the supportive community is what we're after. Okay, so um, here we go. We're gonna start off, I'm gonna show you my stats. So what I really recommend doing is to, I mean, okay, let's first say 30 days is a very small amount of time for a drastic change. So our bodies are not gonna change create drastically, but basically by doing this, we're building, uh, we're just learning to become more obedient in a sense. So we're just learning to stick with things. People tend to, to do things and they don't stick with it. So we're, we're building this tolerance. Um, but 30 days is enough to still see some changes in your body. And so I'm gonna start by measuring my waist now and I'm gonna show you, share it with you. You guys should measure your waist. Uh, make sure that when you measure, you measure above your belly button. It's usually the smallest part of your waist. And you wanna breathe in and out. And when you breathe out, that's where your oh, measuring tape is the wrong way around. <laughs> All right, where is the one? There we go. Let's try that again. So as you guys know, I've been measuring myself. I, I told you, I gained some, a couple inches or maybe one inch from um, Christmas, but not to fear, I will lose it with your help. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I am at 27 inches. Can you see this? Or is it blurry? So 27 inches, last time I measured, I think I was 26 inches, so I gained an inch in my waist. Um, and you know that's the only measurement I'm gonna take. Personally, if you wanna measure your arms, your thighs, um, it's good to even just have that you measure all of this stuff at the beginning of the year. So first day, you know, today's the first, measure your arms, your waist, uh, your hips, um, your thighs, your ankles, everything, weigh yourself and have it in a notebook. Um, and then at the end of the year, you will really get to see your progress. So it's, it's good that today's the first so you can really get that all down. Um, I am weighing in today at 130.8 pounds. So I know that, you know, what's that, um, that, that um, Rhonda fighter? She's like 135 pounds and she's like so built and muscular. I'm like nowhere near that, but somehow I weigh close to that. So um, for me though, m the scale is really not something that influences me because I don't know what it is, but my weight just fluctuates in a weird way. And um, whenever I feel more lean and more fit, I actually weigh more. And that's usually like a muscle thing or just because I'm more dense or more water and uh, water weight and all that. But it's good to have the weight on the scale anyways, even if you're not gonna like weigh yourself every day um, because it can be obsessive. So just be careful with that. Um, so that's the weight with the um, measuring tape. Now this is my waist trainer. Um, so this is the Lux Curves Waist Trainer. I've been wearing this waist trainer for, I think, a, mm, a month or two months now. No, two months now. Um, and I've been stuck on the second hook, so I haven't been able to get to the third hook. Um, I think it's just because I haven't been consistent. That's why I'm so excited to do this 30-day challenge, because it's going to keep me consistent because I, I know that the results happen with the waist trainer. The time where I lost a lot of fat was when I was wearing this every single day. Um, despite whatever, uh, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, it, you know, I it doesn't work with this outfit. Before I was wearing it with whatever, I don't care. And it was, I was seeing great results. So um, hopefully I'll get to the third hook by the end of 30 days. Um, I should put it on, but I've got this, I don't know if I can fit it because I've got a mic on the back. Let me try. That's the wrong way. So I'm going to read some comments here. You guys measuring yourselves. Awesome. Uh, make sure that you do join the Facebook group, though, because that's an important place to post your pictures. Progress pictures are important. I would suggest taking, you know, um, pictures in your bathing suit and pictures in like a, a, an article of clothing. So just so that you can see how it fits you later. So maybe it's like a dress that you really wanted to wear or maybe it's like, um, maybe it's like some tight clothing just so you can see your curves and stuff. So take pictures from the front, full view, from the side and then also the back. Uh, and make sure that you take those regularly. So I would take those on a weekly basis. Okay. Uh, you guys know how it is putting on the waist trainers. It's never super easy. All 
right. So this is the Lux Curves small to medium torso waist trainer. I pull it down, I don't like it to have it under my boobs, so it goes, my hip bones are right here. So it goes just a little bit past my hip bones. And just for your guys' reference, I'll tell you how long my torso is. You measure your torso by going kind of underneath your boob and going down. Make sure that you're not bending when you, when you do it, because then you're gonna have an inaccurate measurement. So my torso is about 8.5 inches. So this fits me perfectly, I'm fine with that. We also have the long torso waist trainers. Um, so if you have above 11 inch um, torso length, you're gonna want the long torso waist trainers just because you wanna make sure you're, you're getting like the full length of your, your abdomen to your stomach to the, you know, the pooch that you might have or maybe postpartum, all that, you wanna make sure it's covering everything. So this is how it fits, um, nice and tight. You can see it, um, it's definitely, cinches your waist. So with the waist trainer on, I have, oh my God, <laughs> there's snow that just fell off the balcony, scared me. Okay, let's see how much this is. That's what happens on a live video, unexpected events. Okay, so I'm 25 inches with the, with the waist trainer on. I don't know if you can see. So instantly I lose two inches on my waist when I wear it. So that alone is pretty awesome when you're wearing clothing. Um, so 27 with it off, 25 with it on, and then we'll see how I am at the end of 30 days. So let me just check out here. Um, we're gonna go into Q&A soon. Um, okay, so you, yeah, we're gonna go into Q&A. Um, so if you guys have comments, this is your time to post them um, onto the YouTube channel. Um, I'll try and check Facebook as well. Let's see here. Um, so, uh. so some people are saying like, you know, you don't have to lose much weight, but you wanna change the shape of your body. Totally fine, like that's uh, one of the main reasons people waist train. One of the top selling waist trainers are the really small ones. And you'd be surprised because you would think it'd be the larger ones, but it's really because a lot of women, um, they may have like a very skinny frame, but they want more of a curvy figure and that's, that's fine. So that's why there's the extra, extra, extra small waist trainer um, and for those people as well. So if you don't want to lose weight, you're still going to change your body just by wearing this consistently. But if you want to lose weight, you definitely want to incorporate this with the exercise and the eating clean and it's going to really help your progress. Okay. So you guys have any questions? Let me know. Oops. Okay, you wanna, okay, so somebody wants to measure my hips and thighs. How many days do I work out? And do I work out with weights or not? Okay, great questions. Um, so I like to work out uh, at least five days a week. Um, and that's just because, you know, some days I, I might not get to the gym, so I don't have a set schedule. You know, some people go Monday to, the fr Monday to Friday, that's their gym days. For me, I just say five days a week, because, you know, some days you might have something that you have to go to, and then say that's on a Tuesday, then that kind of disrupts your schedule. So I'm very flexible with my schedule. I really like working on Sundays and uh, Saturday, Friday nights, because the gym's usually pretty empty, because everyone's partying. Um, so those are good times to go if you just kind of want to be alone um, and have the weight section to yourself. I definitely do work out with weights. Um, so something for me to note is that everybody's going to be completely different. Personally, genetically, I build muscle very quickly. My dad was very, very built. Um, he never even stepped into a gym. Just like naturally, just I don't know what it was. He just was very built, always very strong. Um, so personally, like I tend to build muscle very quickly. Um, so I have these, you know, times where I'm just like really going heavy with the weights. You know, I used to go to the gym with my brother and we would just compete with each other. He would be like, oh, that's all you're going to lift. That's it. And I say, no, I can do, I can do heavier. And then I would lift heavy, but you know, it's fun. But at the same time, the, the appearance I'm trying to achieve 
is not the type of, you know, super ripped type of strong, you know, female athletic bodybuilder. That's not what I personally want. Everybody's going to be different. Some people like that. Some people don't. For me, I kind of just want to be very, uh, very feminine, like not dainty. I want to be strong. Like I want to have strength, but I don't want to have these really big shoulders and, and, and big arms. And um, for me, I tend to focus on uh, when I use weights, I use weights on my legs. Why? Obviously for the booty. Everyone wants to have a nice um, round, big butt. So you got to do the leg. Uh, you got to do weights with the legs because weights are going to help you build the muscle. If you do, um, if you go to the gym and you kind of use body weight, so using your own body, you're going to tone more than you're going to build muscle, right? So you're going to really tone. Um, same thing as if you're doing lower reps and higher weights, you're going to build muscle. If you do um, higher reps, lower weights, so you're going to more tone your body. So that's kind of what I focus on when I do arms or anything. I just tone. I do higher reps, lower weights. And when I do legs, I tend to, I don't go too heavy, um, but I do higher weights, lower reps. So um, yeah, so that's how I do it. And obviously, a lot of the exercises are in the ebook, which you guys all have access to, I'm sure. Um, I also have the YouTube video that I did a while back on the glutes, but um, I'm probably going to have to do an updated one soon. Actually, because I just moved into my new place, they have a really awesome gym, um, so I'm going to be filming a lot more workout stuff for you guys. And what was the other question? Oh, yeah, you want me to measure my hips. Well, I mean, with the waist trainer on, my hips are going to be way bigger because it's pushing all my fat down. I can measure my thigh for you. So I'd be measuring my thigh at the thickest part. 22.5, 22.5 inches. Okay, so somebody has a problem with wearing the waist trainer with your navel piercing. Um, so you know what, I actually used to have a, a navel piercing as well and I wore it all the time. Um, but with the waist trainer, I felt like it was irritating me as well. So, you know, I would recommend either taking it out when you're waist training um, or just getting a really small one. So you can get like really small ones that don't dangle and the, the ball isn't big. Those ones are usually, you don't feel them with the waist trainer on. But if you have like the big one and the dangling one, that one's going to be kind of annoying for you. <laughs> okay. Um, how to lose weight on hips. You can't really target fat loss. You know, if you're going to lose weight, you're going to lose weight overall. That's why a lot of women complain that, you know, the first place they tend to lose weight is their breasts, and nobody really wants to lose weight there. But that's kind of just how it's going to work. The best way to target is the waist trainer. It's really going to target your abdomen. So if you do have more belly fat, um, then this is a good option to, to lose that. But it's really hard to target um, weight loss. Okay, so is the waist trainer flexi flexible enough to do ab workouts in? Great question. Um, so <clears throat> I highly recommend working out with the waist trainer. This is like the number one thing that you want to be doing just because it makes you sweat a lot. And you don't want to be doing what I just did and wearing the waist trainer with your bare skin because you want to keep this clean because you don't want to be washing it too often. You don't want to damage it. This is like your baby. You want to treat it nicely. Um, so you want to make sure that you're wearing a thin tank top underneath very thin, your sweat's going to go more in there, and then if you do have to wash your waist trainer, just wash, hand wash it um, with mild soap. So um, at the gym, I highly recommend using the waist trainer for any kind of weight training, any kind of cardio that is um, not going to accelerate your heart rate. So if you have like, you're doing high intensity interval training, um, say on the treadmill and you're running and you're like, <sighs> like you're really out of breath, don't wear the waist trainer. Um, simply because when you are out of breath, this is really going to restrict how your lungs can expand and it's going to be harder for you to catch your breath and then you can pass out. So you don't want to do that. And it's actually happened to me before. I was in a Zumba class and yes, Zumba can be really hard and intense. I was at a Zumba class and there's like all these like older women like doing so well and then I'm there like, <sighs> like not breathing because I just started waist training and it was just way too much. I went to the washroom, had to take it off, I almost passed out. So um, learn from my experience, don't wear it when you're doing anything where you're like really panting and out of breath. Um, 
and uh, make sure just you're keeping it to the aerobic exercises. Um, so I wear it when I'm like walking or if I'm doing a light jog, that's fine. Um, with abs, you can definitely wear it, but this is a personal preference. So for me, I find it just to be uncomfortable if I'm doing like a whole bunch of crunches. I just, I just don't like that. So I just take it off for abs. Um, it's not a big deal. Abs, like a 15 minute workout, you know, just take it off. Um, and um, for everything else, I mean, yeah, you're solid. You can wear it for that as well. So this is a very uh, flexible waist trainer. It's got nine steel bone, flexi steel bones. So these are not steel bones, they're flexi steel bones. So they're made to, to move with the curve of your body. So they're gonna, they're gonna move with you. So it's really great. Um, and it's, it's very durable, but you also have to take care of it. Okay, back fat. Yeah, so with the waist trainer, um, you know, it's gonna push your fat. It depends where you store most fat. If you have more fat in your upper body or lower body, if you have a lot of fat in your upper body, you're gonna have more back fat here. Um, that's gonna just go away with time and you're just gonna have to kind of stick with it until you lose the weight overall. But there are uh, waist trainers coming out or that you could find, I guess, elsewhere, but Lux Health is coming out with waist trainers also that cover your entire back so that you won't have that issue. Um, but yeah, I think I have another video where I show all the different waist trainers. You can check that out and you can see that there's ones that cover your back so that you are covering this area and you're also training it, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I mean, Laura um, Vatter, Vatter <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the name, sorry. Um, so she's kind of unsure if her waist trainer is fitting properly. So how do you know? That's a really good question. I have another video on that, but I'm gonna explain it real briefly here. Um, if your waist trainer is fitting, it's going to be tight. So you're, you can stick a finger down, you know, in the side, but it's not, it's not so tight where it's like unbearable, like I can barely stick my finger there but it's also going to feel like you can move around, you feel comfortable, it's, you're, it's bearable, you know, that's, that's a good fit. If it's too big, then that means that you're not feeling like you're pushing in your body. You don't feel like, you just know, you're gonna know. You don't feel like you're having compression in your stomach, and you can also measure yourself and see if you actually do go down when you, when you put the waist turner on immediately, you should lose about one to two inches on your waist. If you don't, then it's probably not tight enough. Okay, do people in the gym look at you because of your waist trainer? So actually just, so, you know, I'm, I didn't film workout videos in the gym just because I felt shy and I felt like there's a lot of privacy issues too, you know, you don't want to be filming people surrounding you um, because they didn't ask to be on your, on your video. So I felt bad about that. But same thing with waist training. I actually would wear like a sweater over top or a shirt over top my waist trainer because I was like kind of embarrassed to, to share that with people and to show people look what I'm wearing. And then I thought about it and I was like, how ridiculous is that? It's really not something to be shy about or embarrassed. Like this, the waist trainer makes your body look nice. Like it gives you such a nice figure. Um, and I can share this with other people. They can see it. And you know, it's, it's not something to be embarrassed about or shy about. And it's actually, it feels more comfortable when you're not wearing something over top of the gym. Like you don't want to get too hot too. So I just wear it as is now. Um, people don't stare more than they would or ordinarily stare. Um, you know, maybe some people have like a couple glances, but it's not like they're like staring at you and, and just observing your waist trainer. It's really not that big of a deal. And I think that waist trainers are so popular now because of, you know, celebrity endorsements like the Kardashians, um, I think Black China and just some other people endorsing waist trainers. So it's, it's, it's common knowledge of what they are now when people see them. Plus, waist trainers have been around for centuries, right? This is not something new. This is something my mom used, my grandma. Everybody has been using waist trainers in some form. It may not be this um, high tech, but it was a method of wrapping and cinching your waist. Okay. Okay, so um, somebody asked, if Nikki asked, if you start waist training, do you need to keep it going for the rest of your life? 
So that's totally going to depend on your goals. If you're waist training for fat loss, then you will probably just you know, stop wearing the waist trainer once you achieve that because you're going to get um, to that point uh, of you know, achieving that ideal uh, goal weight or whatever it is, and then you may stop it, that's fine. If you're looking just to curve your body and create the hourglass shape, um, you won't have to do it as much. So once you achieve your, your figure, your shape, um, you know, you won't have to wear it every single day or you won't have to wear it every other day. You'll be able to have bigger gaps between the days. You should keep it up though because you have to think about it. Like this is something that is changing the shape of your body um, and I mean, how can I, how can I think of this? Um, like, you know, it's kind of just like right now your body may be shaped like this, but over time your body might go back. So you want to make sure that you maintain it. It's kind of like a maintenance thing. So you come back and you wear it again every, few, every month. You wear it for like a week and then you take it off um, or every other month. So it is a little bit more maintenance, but that's kind of what you have to do to keep the shape, I think. Can you breathe normally? Absolutely. Honestly, once you wear this quite a bit, and you'll probably notice this after the 30-day challenge, once you've been wearing it for so long and you wear it every single day, when you take it off, you feel naked. You literally will feel naked. And it's kind of like a second skin. Like when I wear it, I feel so like confident and I feel so it just compresses everything and you just feel really good and it's easy to breathe. You can talk fine, it makes no difference. And um, actually, one of the best parts is that it reduces your appetite. So when you eat with the waist trainer on, you will significantly, significantly reduce your portion sizes. And that's completely unintentional. That's simply because you're becoming, your mind is more aware of what's going into your mouth um, and into your stomach. And so we tend to kind of mindlessly eat, you know, eating in front of the TV and just eating, you know, nonstop. And you don't give your body time to realize what's happening, that all this food is going in and you're actually really full. With the waist trainer on, because it's compressing this uh, torso area, your stomach, you're going to be, uh, you're going to notice when your stomach is full a lot quicker. And you're just not going to feel interested in, in stuff in your face um, because you're going to feel uncomfortable if you eat, overeat. So it's really good for that reason. You're going to notice a, a decrease in appetite as well. But if you don't want to lose weight, then don't wear it while you're eating because for obvious reasons. Okay, how many notches do you recommend, two or three? So the Lux Health waist trainers are all three rows, um, and that's because they're about one inch apart. So as you lose size, you will move from the first row to the second to the third. And then you, you want to make sure that you stay on each row for about two to weeks to a month. Um, and then you move on to the next because you want to give your body time to adapt, right? Um, and then you can move on to a smaller size. So a lot of people will purchase two waist trainers at a time. They'll purchase their current size, and you have to measure yourself, remember? And then they'll purchase one size down um, because then it'll be ready for you when you size down. Um, So, um, oh my gosh, okay, that happened again. <laughs> um, okay, with corset training, with corset training, I have to wear a tank top or liner of sorts to protect the corset and fabric from deterioration. Is there lining in the trainer? Um, okay, so with the waist trainer, you can, you can definitely wear it on bare skin. It is, it is lined, it is protected, but if you want to improve the longevity of your trainer, it's recommended to wear the tank top underneath because like I said, you're gonna sweat less on it um, and you're gonna wash it less and it just helps. But you can definitely wear it on bare skin and it feel completely comfortable and fine. Um, some people who do have latex allergies, uh, I wouldn't really recommend wearing the waist trainer on bare skin because it's made from latex, so it, it, it's gonna give you some sort of allergic reaction. Okay, I have a couple questions on my phone here. Um, so, when will I see results? This is a question I get quite a bit, but the answer is not as easy as you would think it is. Um, so because that's simply because every body is different. Every body looks different, acts differently, um, it reacts differently to different um, types of diets and changes. So you, you, there's not a one answer fits all. So pr 
from my personal experience and working with women who waist train, I notice that most women will go down a waist trainer within one to two months. So it'll take one to two months to go from, say, a size small to an extra small. So that's if you're wearing it consistently, but some people go down in three weeks, some people go down in four months. So it is, there's a huge variety and it's not a, you know, like I said, a one size fits all answer, um, but that's kind of the average of what I've calculated. Um, okay, so is waist training dangerous? There's another video about that as well that I have on my YouTube channel, but to recap, it is not dangerous. Um, there's a big difference between the waist trainers and corsets. I don't think that there's a problem with corsets, but corsets are stronger. Um, waist trainers, these waist trainers are made from nine steel bones. Lux Health is coming out with corsets made from 25 steel bones. So there's a, there's, it's more structured. Basically, when you have a waist trainer, this is the waist trainer, it's flexible, see? Uh, with a corset, you have it and the shape, it stays that way. So you're very limited with corsets. You can't really do much. You can't bend down. You can't exercise. You can't wear it for everything. Um, so you're not wearing it for as long as the waist trainer. That's why a waist trainer tends to work better for some people because you're just wearing it longer. Um, but the corset has more of the strength um, to actually shift and move things. Um, and it can actually change, you know, if you have a really big rib cage, it could change the, the way your rib cage rib cage is shaped. So there is a big difference between that. The waist trainer is a much safer um, and more noob friendly way to waist train. It's going to give you great results, but it's not going to damage anything. It's not going to push any organs. It's not going to hurt you. It's it's a lot safer. And there's a lot of doctors who you know, claim all this stuff about corset training and waist training and all that, but a lot of them are paid to say those things, but there's not much scientific evidence behind uh, waist training itself. Okay, so how long are we here? How long has this been? Okay, I'm going to announce the winners for the giveaway. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I was going to do that here, but we did a giveaway uh, video uh, for waist trainers. So if you missed out on applying for that giveaway, just be sure that you are ready for the next one. I think I'm going to do a giveaway maybe every month um, and I'm going to be giving away different products. So this giveaway I'm giving out different kinds of waist trainers. Next giveaway it's going to be new ones. Um, and so I'm going to announce who the winners are. And for those people who are the winners, you want to make sure that you comment on this video to let me know that you watched it. Um, comment on this video and say, you know, hi, I don't know. Comment down below, say, hi, I'm the, I'm the waist trainer giveaway. Then send me an email, info at luxhealth.com. So info, like I-N-F-O, at luxhealth.com. Um, and just say, waist trainer winner. And then send me your shipping address and I will send it to you free of charge and you will get to enjoy it. So, uh, let's start off here. So we have this waist trainer. This is the traditional Lux Curves waist trainer in black. This is going to, and forgive me if I pronounce your names wrong, I'm so sorry, Carrie Damiani, or Damiani. Okay, so Carrie, um, claim your prize, make a comment down below. Um, we've got this one here, which was very uh, highly wanted. <laughs> um, this is the beige one that has both the hooks and the zipper. So that's a new product from Lux Health coming out in February or March of 2017. This is going to Ashley Wright. So Ashley, you're going to be the first person to try this product. Um, and um, this one is the traditional Lux Curves waist trainer in hot pink. This is going to Anna Tovar. Anna Tovar. Um, also, we've got here the, um, the neoprene um, waist training suit. This one is the one with the straps but not sleeves. Uh, going to Lauren Castillo. 
Lauren Castillo, pronouncing it both ways just in case. And we've got here the straps for the Lux Curves Waist Trainer, the full back one that I was talking about. This one's also coming out 2017. This is going to Yara6. So this is the, the YouTube username that I'm reading. So this is Yara6. Was that a six or was that a nine? Yeah, that's a six. And this one is the sleeves. This is going to username BFJ12. BFJ12. Okay. Um, and I have an extra one here. This is um, the size is four extra large. So I didn't have anybody who had um, a four extra large waist comment. So if you are um, that size and you can find out via the size chart on lookshealth.com, I will send you this one because I've had this one and nobody claimed it. I already packaged it up, packaged it up. so this is yours. Um, just comment below if this is your size. And all of the traditional waist trainers are going to get the waistband. Um, this waistband used to be included as a bonus with the waist trainers, but some stuff happened and we no longer included, but this um, is now sold on the website separately. Basically what this is, I'll show you. It's a waistband like this, so you kind of put it on over your feet. I'll just show you. Uh, if it will go over my butt. So this goes underneath your waist trainer. So you're gonna wear it underneath your waist trainer. It's gonna be kind of like a shield between your waist trainer and your skin. Uh, this one's too big for me. But basically what it's gonna do is you put this underneath, you put the waist trainer on top. This is gonna make you sweat double the amount. So extra sweat, extra fat loss. And it also helps protect the waist trainer as well. So you all, all the people who got the traditional waist trainer, you're gonna get one of these with your product as well in the mail, okay? So that is the giveaway. Don't forget to email us and comment below. Next giveaway will be next month sometime. I don't know when. <laughs> Just be sure to follow Lux Health on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Join the Facebook group, Lux Curves Waist Training Dolls. Um, and remember that I'm going to be doing a live stream next Sunday at 1 p.m. PST and the following Sunday after that. Um, and I will be announcing all that stuff too. Um, I have, okay, sounds good guys. Um, if you have any last questions, please let me know. And by the way, the, the winners are selected at random. This is, it's a totally random process. It's, it's not like I have like a select few that I'm trying to send these to. It's just a random process. So um, the next giveaway is gonna be a, the same type of style thing. So um, yeah, that's it guys. If you have further questions, just comment down on the YouTube video when it's posted. I think it gets posted automatically and then I'll answer them, I'll answer them for you guys there. So thank you so much for joining me and have a very happy uh, January 1st. Join our Fitbit community. I'm gonna go and get my 10,000 steps in. I'm gonna hit the gym, go for a walk, do something, but I definitely gotta represent. So I gotta, I gotta use this thing. <laughs> so see you guys later and talk soon. Bye.